Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Lamar from Lil Wayne. This was suggested by Presto Ernesto, so thank you Presto for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below guys, I really do appreciate them. But without any further ado, let's get right into this. Let's see what Wayne has to say. Let's see what Lamar is all about. I'm very intrigued to see where that title came from, but let's get it. Uh, I spit that ROC, nothing but crack, bitch. Get my cleats, cause I'm running this rap shit, y'all know. Me. Okay, ROC, nothing but crack, bitch, crack rock. Then we went to nothing but rap. Hold up. ROC, nothing but crack, bitch. Get my cleats, cause I'm running this rap shit. Y'all know me, this ain't nothing but practice. I run the streets and I'm running this rap shit. I got bars OD, I've been running this rap shit. I run this bitch like I'm Lamar Jackson. Uh. Lamar Jackson, okay. I see where we going now. But nice rhyme scheme coming in. Ends up fitting well with that Jackson rhyme scheme, but rap shit and uh, everything else that we hit there in the middle. Y'all heard it. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I run this bitch like I'm Lamar Jackson. Uh, the takeover, the break's over. Hit your brakes because the race's over. I'm the case closer. Bust your whole fucking face open. That's a makeover. Lean, make every soda, grape soda, purple taste golden. Make me have my skate escape. Okay, nice. Picked up the pace. Hit us on this OPA, like, this OVA, open, like, this very O heavy at the beginning rhyme scheme, and then bending the rest of the word to fit with pretty much whatever else he's trying to say. He's using the word over a lot, and that's something I've noticed Wayne do a couple times, and he does it very artfully, where he'll repeat the same word as the rhyme a couple times over sometimes like back to back to back like we're talking like 12 lines in a row on some tracks they're very short lines in that case but i haven't really heard anybody else do it like him where it sounds good but it always fits when i hear it from him every soda grape soda purple taste golden make me have my skate skate over to your place soldier you a place soldier you a snake you a fake cobra you ain't safe have the safe open i need payola on your knees nigga where the keys i'm like beethoven bro this is crazy he's just moving on this flow right now hold up we gotta talk about some of what he's saying you a snake you a fake cobra you ain't safe have you a snake you a fake cobra so he rhymed snake to fake cobra with that over type scheme we're in. Fake cobra, you ain't safe, have the safe open. I need payola. You ain't safe, had the safe open. Dude. On your knees, nigga, where the keys? I'm like Beethoven. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. Safe open to Beethoven. Now that's a great compound rhyme. The pen to a test. I bring the knight to his sunlight and zen to a stress. I bring the gun to a fist fight, the dick to a breast. She wants to come on a gun to a fist fight, a dick to her breast. Yo, no chill. I love the feel of this. The dick to a breast. She wants to come on her tongue like it's meant to a breast. This is Brown uh. Man P.B.I. Nigga, you might be a C.I. Talking to the F.B.I. Big B's to the east side. Now she's on my G5. Fuck on her to some C5. Cut on funeral and she died. You reach change. Bro, flow switches. Beautiful. Immaculate. This is smooth. Killing this. Cut on funeral and she died. Your reach ain't long enough. Your peeps ain't strong enough. Your beach ain't warm enough. You ain't been in the throne. Cause the seat ain't warm enough. And nigga, I'm the only one. I got the crown on. I'm the goat and you the pony, son. Don't let me do it to him. I'm the goat and you the pony, son. That's funny. I like that. Call him a pony like, you know, like a child in a way. Wayne's still the goat. 
Honestly, he's killing it. Only one I got the crown on. I'm the golden, you the pony, son. Don't let me do it to him, Dunny, cause I overdo it. The chapel was too big for me, had to grow and don't met don't let me do it to him cause I overdo it. Is that what he said? He do it to him, Dunny, cause I overdo it. The yep. chapel was too big for me, had to grow into it. His style is uh. big for me if I told the door. We hit his crib and broke into it. If it's smoke, we blew it. We don't believe Bro, I love that. The chapel too big. I had to grow into it. That is a wild bar. We ain't gonna be like 50 feet tall wearing the chapel like a cutoff. I don't know. This crib and broke into it. If it's smoke, we blew it. We don't believe you. You need more people. Ain't shit sweet, boy. You need more equal. You ain't running shit, boy. Be your Ezekiel. All my niggas rich, boy. Clean or illegal. Don't let them gas you like. Uh. Clean, hold up, hold up. Let's bring this back. Boy, feed your Ezekiel. All my niggas. Feed your Ezekiel. Now, this is funny, because I think I know what he's referencing here, but it's because of a certain bread company's branding that's called Ezekiel Bread. And it's a uh, name that, based on, I believe, a, spe a specific Bible passage from Ezekiel, where it describes the book of Ezekiel or something like that, where it describes the grains that are to be eaten by people. And um, the Ezekiel Bread Company, they put all those grains and seeds and whatnot into a loaf of bread, and then they call it Ezekiel Bread. But if that's the reference there, that's a really cool call out. Boy, be your Ezekiel. All my niggas rich, boy, clean or illegal. Don't let him gas you like Tuncherine and Thrasher. He won't thrash you, cause I'll be glad to split your apple. I had to stab you, chop. Glad to split your apple? Now, we could be talking about Adam's apple. We could be getting another biblical reference with the apple and the Adam of Eve. Maybe a little bit of both. Lots of ways this could go, but I love the feel. Split your apple, I had to stab you, chop you up in the bathroom so casual, then drop you off in front of a chapel with candles, detach you, body from soul, I need a bigger body and soul, come out of my soul, I made a way through the rock. Made a, hold up, let's bring that back. Catch you, body from soul, I need a bigger body and soul, come out of my soul, I made a way through the rockiest roads and highway patrol, full speed ahead and clean the bread from the sloppiest joes, I got it in the hot in the- Bro, just- automatic flows talking about highway patrol to clean and bread from the sloppiest joes and like again another double entendre talking about bread sloppy joe sandwich talking about money talking about calling people joes you know joe schmo a regular joe but the sloppiest joes he's cleaning the bread from them oh this is sick I got it in the hot and the cold, the mud and the rain. I stomach the pain, got more bloods than the blood in my vein. I'm hunting the game. Uh, you guys ain't fucking with Wayne. Ask your vibe, cause she fucking Lil Wayne. Yeah, nigga, y'all know me. This ain't nothing but practice. OG, I've been sunning these bastards. Double R, no key. Got a button for that shit. And if y'all don't see, then I'm coming with graphics. Nigga, wall, no peace. Bro, if y'all don't see, then I'm coming with graphics. Stop. Play it, bro. I don't know, man. Wayne is one of those rappers where every time I listen to him, my love for his music is just so reaffirmed because the wordplay is always beautiful. This, the way everything fits together, and all those little nooks and crannies you can dive into are there for you to look around in. This is a beautiful track. Really well put together, amazing bars, and clean all the way down. He hasn't stuttered, there hasn't been a misstep. Then I'm coming with graphics, nigga, wall, no peace. And I'm coming with caskets, screaming R.I.P. to everyone in this rap shit, nigga, y'all so sweet. And I'm nothing but nasty, and I'm running this rap shit, nigga, Lamar Jackson, no ceiling. This is No Ceilings 3, that's uh. right, Little Wayne. And be ready for I am not a human being three. The album coming 2021. Another. Okay. Well, thanks, DJ Khaled, for the outro. But that was absolutely amazing. I hope y'all enjoyed that.
I certainly did. Thank you again to Presto Ernesto for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below. Make sure y'all hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes Gang, and I will see you all next time.